Hello everybody and welcome to another week of filming. This week I'm going to be showing you all how to make pom-poms. It's really, really simple to do and all I've done here is got an embroidery hoop and just tied my pom-poms on and that way you can make it into a wall hanging um, for your bedroom or give it to a loved one and it's a really, really simple and easy thing to do. So. Let me show you how to do it. So you'll need <clears throat> some wool, choose any colour you like and what I would do is about four fingers and start wrapping the wool around my fingers. So you'll need a fair bit to make your pom pom. So just keep wrapping until you've made the kind of size that you feel you want to do it. And once I'm happy with that, I just simply get some scissors and cut it off and then pull it from my fingers and lay it flat like that. Then I'll get another piece of the wool and cut a bit off and I'm going to tie it in a knot to keep it all together. So I'm going to double knot it just to make sure that it's not going to come loose and I'm going to leave this tail like that. Then you take your scissors and you're just going to cut through there and do the same on the other side. <clears throat> Avoiding cutting the tail because the tail we're going to come back to in a minute. There we are. And then all you need to do is sort of spruce up your pom-pom a wee bit. Now there will be wee bits that are longer or shorter than others and just to tidy it up you can just sort of give it a wee haircut and tidy it up a wee bit. <clears throat> there we are. So you see we have a pom-pom. Really really simple. Now the reason I've told you to leave a tail there is if you were going to tie it onto something you've got a wee bit of length to do so. So I'll just show you with this one here. Say you wanted to add it to the top, <clears throat> you would just tie it round like so and then you can cut off that tail to hide any bigger bits. There we are. And that way it all sort of ties in and looks quite neat and tidy. So give it a go. Here's another one with lots of different colours. Just odd bits of, of wool that we've had lying about um, to make it into a nice sort of wall hanging. You can also um, make a pom-pom garland and use different types of wool and then tie your your pom-poms onto your, your bit of string and you can have that sort of over picture frames or around your bed. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so have fun making and creating and we'll see you soon.